Yo, what's up, guys? This is Happy No with another Guild Force 2 PvP video, and this time again with my Dragon Hunter and the reason why I call myself the God of Dragon Hunter. I mean, it is like really, really, really obvious. I call myself the God of Dragon Hunter because, believe it or not, and even when you watch my streams, I somehow have a problem watching those people. If you watch my streams and stuff, you will notice that I was just able to kill really everyone. The best holosmiths, mesmers, any mesmer at all, even soul beasts, even weavers, I was able to beat all of them. And this is like what's the funny part of this is. There are multiple reasons why I call myself the god of dragon hunter or god of guardian and stuff like that. Because I am really one of the best guardian players out there, believe it or not. And the other thing is just, I like to make people mad. Especially, really those wannabe players. And it is especially nice because when you play Guardian or Dragon Hunter, which is not mad at all, and you just kill those people, they are getting so, so mad. I mean, holy man, what's going on? Why are you getting mad about this? I mean, I also fail a lot of times and I also get killed and stuff. But why in the hell should I just get mad about something, man? I mean it's a game and of course everyone can fail but the good thing here is the pro gamers just always think they are the best and stuff and when they when you just wreck one of them they just start crying like okay you just had luck okay it was lag and stuff you know I don't say that if I have lag the enemy uh, player will see it you know and then when they trash talk you just know oh he's trash talking okay let's let's be good He's, he seems to be a really strong player if he trash talks you when you lag, which I will never do. If I see someone lagging, I will never ever trash talk. But what I like to do is trash talking those pro players who just think, hey, I'm going to do it. I'm going to kill everyone. And then they just see, oh shit, he's just about to kill me. What's going on? Why is he so strong? And then they just don't know what to do and what to say. Uh, this Samba guy will for sure go close. So... For the first time ever, I'm not gonna run far, but I'm gonna do close. Just to show you what I mean by that. My Mesmer can go far because he, he should be a Chrono Cancer, plus he could be outnumbered by the Revenant. I'm not gonna use my wings, just because, yeah, if you go close, you don't really need to waste your skills. What I'm gonna do is lay, lay down my trap here. Um, I don't know who's coming for me. It's this guy, it's the Thief. He already got trapped, which is really nice. I can pull him even here. Is he about to steal on me? I guess not. He's not even willing to steal on me, man. This is so sad. <laughs> Why is he running far, man? He, he really thinking he will get like, I don't know which one. And he has an easy game. The thief, the thief, the thief. You see, I'm targeting him because my team should know, oh, there's something dangerous. I could lay down my trap here and do something else but therefore I'm just gonna get the decap here this guy just what the hell is he just doing man he blocked everything from me I spear him now he using his elite uh, his elite his block which is like really bad from him he used it a little bit too early okay there's a mesmer here I tried to heal my Ellie there. I tried to knock this guy away. AoE attacking him. Just trying to be annoying. We have the cap here. And so I can just go ahead to the next guy. My Ellie is just getting like... <laughs> I gave him Aegis. I gave him some healing. I used my trap there. And he has to work now on his own. Okay, I could try to do something like this if he attacks. He's not attacking me, which is like really sad. And now what I have to do is just watch this guy interrupting him. Interrupt him one more time doing this. I can't even go for the stomp because it is dangerous to let uh, Druid too long alone. And now just capping the point here safely trying to interrupt someone here AOE CC the warrior just try harding so much 
to get his block going on but I seem to have a pro team here or better said a team that is not throwing out attacks okay I need to heal my ally here a little bit up but I also need to be careful here on the point he was almost about to get it I can interrupt him here interrupt him one more time lay down damage he's blocking I should stop attacking but I'm not really into it blocking now kick him him out shit I will lay down this so he will walk into that blocking now he has to jump into my trap I interrupted him I interrupt him here one more time you see this a pro warrior would probably dodge that but he's not really doing it which is like really sad giving him giving my team stability interrupting this guy easy killing the warrior uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh my god the thief is really going nuts on me man I just do this now I will be blocking giving stability to my allies no one is even caring about that the thief is here he might even die no it's this guy he might die okay I missed it I need to block uh, the enemy team is getting the double cap wow I should have decap middle but I'm just realizing it a little bit too late because I just really want to show you why I am like the best ever and here we go against oh my god I throw out my freaking was he able to oh shit he's playing some weird ass build man is it my trap or his trap I have lag okay that's like the reason here why I'm failing so much he dodged I should have interrupted him which is not happening I have no clue why <laughs> blocking or attacking him to death here easy mode doing this I just made him waste his uh, attacks there blocking a little bit I have no clue where this guy is he even got the revive man holy man this is nice I need to block now the thief is on me I wasn't uh, paying notice onto him now I can just wow the thief is doing quite work man he's doing quite a work you can see this no one of my team even tries to decap middle man this is so sad <coughs> the enemy thief has like really easy game to get something going on but he's failing as well just blocking the projectiles for my alley here blocking again I should have not attacked there but never mind easy killing onto the mesmer here because I just keep an eye on him we have a downed guy on close this guy is running on our close so I can go, go far and my team can cap middle which they are not doing <laughs> my ally here should not fight a uh, soul beast because soul beast is overpowered as hell and so my just main goal will be here to try and get some damage going on let his pad work a little bit with me I have him here I can't even pull him because he has stability right I can try and heal him up a little bit he will stun me oh my god what is going on the thief stunned me twice or what I tried to just predict where the thief will be heading towards and now it's just me blocking the thief oh my god this game play was awesome <laughs> holy man i just predicted it i just knew it look at this watch the review of this guys hell yeah man i just knew it using my block blocking the thief i was i could have just started running away but no i won't do that because i knew the thief will steal on me he will chase me what happens I activate my block on a perfect timing and you just see blocking the freaking steel <laughs> best feeling ever 
So the warrior is here. I just pulled him, man. What is going on? Thanks for the MOA. I just run on my point. I dodged the thief. I need my healing skill. I can block now. Do this. Thanks for the stability. Interrupting this guy. Now just auto attacking a little bit. Removing the conditions. Easy holding this 1v2. Easy holding this. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Come on. Yes. Fuck. This is just it, man. This is just it. I'm on the beast mode. Do you see this? It's not just that I'm a good guardian or dragon hunter player, but combine this with my perfect timing, with my map awareness, with my people awareness here when I see I'm on 1v2s. If I focus, you know, because most of my games I just do it chill and stuff and I just don't care so much. But when I focus, I just am on my beast mode and no one, really, no one can ever get something going on against me here. Stability popping. Now letting my stability drop here. Uh, my stability, my, 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 my freaking trap. And here we go, one we won against the Spellbreaker. If he's not afraid, he's afraid too, yeah. <laughs> That's sure. I mean, the game is still not done, man. I should not be like, we won this game. He will run away. He will run away. Okay, I need to get something, man. Now the enemy thief is decapping our clothes. Normally, when this happens, my mesmer mate should have gone for it. But he's staying on... On the meanwhile, he's staying on far and just don't giving anything about this healing this guy up healing him up twice we lost that point but that's like nothing really badly interrupting this guy and now it is dangerous i have to be careful blocking a little bit it is still pretty dangerous because i'm getting attacked by multiple people i need to heal this guy up holy fuck Interrupting him immediately really fast. Blocking now. Interrupting this guy. Whoa ho 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 ho. I'm killed by the confusion. His distortion is gone but he somehow got stability and another block. I don't know. So that, that was a great one here. Me and the holo against soul beast. Uh, Mesmer and the thief. It was a little bit problematic because I can only block on one direction and the enemy thief was behind me. So what I should have done is not waste, better said, my wings on my holo. But therefore I just kept him alive and we were able to get this 2v3 really good going on. I mean the, elemental, the mesmer and the thief were still able to beat me, to get me down. But that's like not really a big problem here. So again, I can lay down my trap here. This is like one of the best positions because if the enemy is not a thief, 99% of the time enemies will just cross here. They will just cross here because they can't port and do anything else there. Just doing this. The thief is coming, right? Is this guy the thief? Yeah, is the thief. He already steal on me, which I could have easily blocked, but I just thought that's let's get things going on like this now i got defense and healing hmm what to say about this probably i will say defense or offense one of those but for offense i don't know probably the revenant or someone else where it was just more on the yeah it, it should be the revenant the kills from the i guess this the holo and i don't know who was this guy here what he was playing and the revenant the mesmer was not so effective let's say it like this now what makes me like the god of dragon hunter or god of guardian because if i have those setups i first of all i check out the enemies what enemies do i have and then the first thing is hmm can i take the one we want if i go far for example i know if i would go against the good soul beast i would lose that but i can still try because most of the times people who play soul beast they just are not good players. They think 
we have an OP build, let's just go for it and kill someone. But it, it is not like that easy, you know. And so I just can probably take 99% of all my 1v1s. And there is like really a low percentage that I lose if the enemy is not hardcore countering me. And by that what I mean is if uh, someone is playing and only good ones, strong spell breakers or soul beasts are also some kind of counters to my build because soul beast for example has not only uh, high duration of st stability but he has perma protection and perma protection is like the number one counter to my build because my build is about single damage deflecting shot true shot and then knocking out of the trap but with protection you just reduce all the damage of those three two attacks my trap by 33% which makes me really weak and of course the other thing is soul beast for example can apply cripple chill and other stuff which is really really annoying and then for example here uh, reapers not so much but like the what's the name of them the scourges they are like a really threat there you can see this guy he's just throwing out attacks without even knowing what he's doing and I can just easily kill him, but he's also getting attacked by the by the mesmer, which is not so great. Um, well then, what counters do I have else? I don't know. There are not so many counters out there, but my build is just made to to get anything going on, and you can do against everyone a lot of work. This that's why my build is so great. I can take one v ones. I can do team fights. I can do support my allies. I can do everything, everything. You can see this, I can use my symbol here on a defensive way or on a really hardcore badass way. He just blocked, I could have even used my deflecting shot before I do something else and now I just pull him. Shit, he dealt great there. <laughs> I forgot about the, uh, he just corrupted my myself and then feared me. I could have before I used my elite deflecting shot him and then spear pull and repeat this but he just got me with a better timing there and scourges even scourges if you know how to uh, keep your distance and don't stay in the AOE fields you will be able to kill them why because it is like this you can take every one you want with my build because it is really strong one and you can do a lot of work you have just freedom which you will not have with every build there you can see this, I already brought his HP on a so low percentage that it's like you can't even count this how low he was under 50% without doing a lot of work here. I wasn't even wasting all my skills, I, ha I have still everything up, my blocks and stuff. I mean I pulled him, he was not prepared for the attacking and stuff but I was just able to get him on low HP without doing so much work. And then what you just have as a dragon hunter you have your blocks your dodges and your interrupts and if you know how to handle all those things perfectly together you will just be able to destroy everything and so as i just said it there is like a couple of counters to this but only if they also outplay you by having a better timing and with that i mean scourges as you saw he can just corrupt my boons so i have to waste my blocks and stuff and I have to waste my wings to keep the distance. But even then, a good Scourge will know, oh, he's running away. So I can lay my uh, AoE fields, my wells, on a, on a good range to just get him rid of. So let's just show you here as an example. Because I will talk about the Dragon Hunter a little bit more. Here we go. The first thing is just try to avoid getting caught by the staff attacks by just dodging them. You can see this here. I'm not staying into his AoE fields. He's just getting killed, man. This is so bad. Let's just go ahead and kill this guy, therefore. Doing this. Blocking now. Oh boy, this would have been so great if I would have got this guy. I just block. I just use my elite. He's dead. He's already dead. Um, you just saw, you can, my build works just against everything. DPS, Mesmer, 
you can just keep the distance. If he stuns you immediately, if you don't get your trap stun break and stability, you have to use your shield of courage immediately because he will just burst you down. But normally at the beginning, he will just stun you, you will get your stun break trap, you will get your stability and then just get work going on. You can see this, he's blocking, he's immediately going it and now he will just try to interrupt me, which I will just block. He leave it. He just left that game, I guess. Yeah, he left that. You can see this. <laughs> so I just had him perfectly there. He was not able to interrupt me even. Uh, I don't know if he wants to attack me. Okay, so n now what you can see here is the beginning. The beginning, every Mesmer does the same. Just bursting you with their combis and not really trying to do something there which is really bad if i would play mesmer i would not immediately burst out everything because this is bad you can see this he bursts everything and then he will have nothing left i know condi cancer will just perma burst you but if they will uh, start to making this game a little bit better with this entire broken system you will just be able to get more things going on interrupting him wow <laughs> i just have to fight against gold mesmers i want to have some better players to show you what i mean with that um what to say else with the dragon hunt and your perfect timing you can just really as i said outplay almost everything and in 2v2s i see dragon hunter working so great because not that only i can heal and support myself by blocking attacks healing myself removing conditions and stuff but I can also do that same for my ally friend here, for example. As I just said, boom, using this, we will give him stability, protection and the shield, which will be blocking attacks if I stay in front of him, which is pretty nice. If I spear an enemy, he will not be able to uh, stealth himself. Plus, I have an unblockable pull, which works pretty, pretty fine against spell breakers if they are low HP. You know, oh shit, I have this spell breaker, he uses his block. After the block, he will have his shield block, and then after that, he will have Ender Pain, and then he will just dodge Greatsword 3, and he will be on half HP again. And to avoid that, you just have to work, work, work faster. And you can see this, for example, here. What you can do is just spear this guy. He's blocking. He just dodged. I can just out, count, uh, out counter, out damage his damage you can see this he has like no chance and he's dead i mean they are a big threat if uh, dps mesmer I, I just had this season only one guy who was really strong but he was also not such a big threat because i was able to also just destroy him pretty hard and therefore i don't know it makes not so much sense to talk about that now my build is still the same sigil of intelligence sigil of annulment and sigil of agility and energy on my mace shield rune of the pack and marauder amulet plus the build virtues unscattered contender absolute resolution indomitable courage valor lesser smite condition stalwart defender monk's focus piercing light hunter's determination and heavy light now to talk also a little bit about the dragon hunter overall he got so much nerfed you don't have like the the 32 seconds cooldown here on the trap the traps have also longer duration or no the 24 seconds were like always uh, but what got nerfed was i don't know only this one here but the cooldown is a little bit too long on 72 seconds it was 48 seconds and then they did it 90 seconds and now only with the straight you have it 72 seconds otherwise 90 seconds yeah and then then they also nerfed something with the traps on the activation they did something else they interrupted the enemy yeah and now they just slow but i still also like this slow it is also nice it is kind of annoying against spell breakers because you just slow their block and their block if you dodge it too early you, he will still hit you because you you block too er you dodge too early and he just gets you with that which is really annoying uh, what else got nerfed? Yeah, the true shot for example was also nerfed. The spear is nerfed. 
the it will not get refreshed immediately and stuff i mean it did not back then before but now it just takes a little bit longer duration uh what else got nerfed the healing from the wings of resolve if you apply this the block duration got nerfed and stuff and just to make it as an example against the the holosmith for example the holosmith got only a quite a little nerfs there just some tweaks not nerfs so compared to other professions the dragon hunter got nerfed hard and even with those nerfs if you are a pro dragon hunter believe it or not you will be able to kill a lot of people and just destroy most of them as you just saw i mean you you have tons of my videos on my channel on my live streams on twitch and stuff where you just can see oh shit happy no the best guardian player ever he just 1v2 1v3 he killed this guy 1v1 this guy 1v1 this guy 1v1 and you also will never see believe it or not but you will never see those pro players if they fight against me to 1v1 me because they know i might win against him but it will take really really long and if they don't get a win they just are shamed and stuff they think they are really bad and stuff i mean i know i there are a lot of good players you know i i like to just make the math i admit that there are a lot of good players but i am also a good player and those people don't admit that they just say oh, what who's this guy he's like a no name and stuff but when they fight me it's no matter if it's like uh, from the old orange logo team and stuff i did i did 1v1s against all of them sooner or later or back then before heart of thorns and stuff i did against every one of them and they all know that i'm a strong 1v1 player even back then without the expansions and you know that as well because i show gameplay with all my professions with all the different builds and i'm still able even with weaker builds to kill people with stronger builds and currently for example also to just mention Condi Cancer Mirage is like really overpowered. Holosmith is strong with the defensive traits. And I'm still able to beat them. Every Holosmith that I just played, even Draze or who what was his name, and the, or some other Holosmith player, they all played with double Alexir S. And this is only the one only one reason that they survived and they just started running away and hiding and then healing up and stuff like that. The only way. But you can see on all my videos they just double shrink and they just hide somewhere with Alexia stuff and then heal up and then they come back and even then they lose against me which means they double or triple heal while i don't have that i don't have that running away and stealthing hiding and healing myself up and this is what makes this so great and what makes me like one of the best if not the best dragon hunter player out there <laughs> enough of that man i know because most people will just get mad it's just sarcasm and you know it i of course lose as well against some other guardians players and stuff because I w i'm not always focused and n not every pro gamer will be focused at all on every game so i know how to lose games and i know how to win them so don't take this too serious i just make fun of myself and others and that was happy no with the god of dragon hunter explanation with my build showing up and my skins will be also here revealed because most will ask me bloodstone visage knight fury grasping dead breastplate and dragon hunter's gauntlet grasping dead leg guards and mistvart bar boots fire breathing longbow timekeeper mace and war god's shield and the assassin assassin i don't know how to say it right the legendary backpack because i have this for a really long duration now and yeah now as always you will see three of my videos plus you can subscribe to my channel only if you like to if not don't do it that was happy no the god of dragon hunter and now just follow me on twitch to see me live subscribe to my youtube channel and i see my next videos guys thanks all for watching have a good one bye bye all